Well, good morning and good morning. Welcome into another edition of Golf Talk Ready's Mike Billy. So glad you were with us. My name is Billy Gibbs. That guy over there on the control panel is Mr. Mike Brabinick doing his thing. Good morning, Mike. How are you? Good, Billy. How are you? I'm great, man. Never never been better. I'd like to welcome in Nikki and Dave. The panel of the day, Nikki Anderson, Real Tour, sponsor of the show. Dave Shamandel from Slick Sticks, sponsor of the show. And expertise in club fitting, club repair, and anything you want to do about golf clubs and lessons, Mr. Dave Shamandel. Good morning, Dave. Good, Good morning. morning. I'm a fake tour. Hi, Nikki. How are you? Good morning, Billy. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Nikki. Morning, Mike. Hi, Dave, yeah, Mike. Right. Mike, Dave, Nikki. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Mike. Sounds like Pop, three stooges. How are you this day? Hop is great. Cool, man. We get a few more in this room. I know we can. I'm going to talk to Mike about it later. We get, we get seven of us in here. Uh, we got a good show, I think, today. At least I'm hoping from what I saw on paper. Um, we're going to have uh, this the executive director from the the Pure um, sh- Shares Triple Q Championship, which is the second round of the Schwab Cup. Uh, that's the uh, PGA Tour Champions uh, Finals or the... Um, Kind of like the, the what's going on with the FedEx Cup playoffs. It's the second round of their playoffs, and it's down at Sherwood Country Club. He's going to be calling in uh, Mr. Phil Bow and, and talking about uh, uh, his whole event and how much it, it is for the communities and the, the tour and for the people around here to go down and check out some of the best players ever in the history of the game playing on one of the greatest courses in, the, in California. So we'll be talking about that. That's coming up in um, October 26th through the 29th. Um, again, that is the Power Shares Triple Q Championship, the second round of the Schwab Cup playoffs. So we'll be talking to him in the second hour. On the first hour, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. Uh, the Ryder Cup picks, at least almost all of them are made. Our thoughts and um, opinions on that. We've got uh, a chance of a kind of a local tie, which I know Mike is, uh, wants to talk about. He knows some of the people that could be involved with this player if he's picked. And we'll find out what Nikki and Dave's opinion is on everything. So um, welcome in, Mike. What's up, man? What's up in your world? Uh, it's you. It's all you, man. I'm up in your world? Yeah. Awesome, then, man. Well, cool. Um, it's all you. Good to be me. So you're looking for <laughs> it new is, clubs. It's I good heard. to be me. Yeah. Um, you're looking for new clubs? I never said that. I've got some shafts. <laughs> I thought you sold them for all the I went by your place. There's shafts all over the place. Um, <laughs> you seen the back I got shafted. Back. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I do want to shout out to the ranch course at the Alisal um, down in Solvang, California. The private course. So there's two courses down there in Alisal, and it's the ranch at the Alisal. Amazing golf. Hands down, my favorite golf course on the Central Coast. I love that course. It is just awesome. It reminds me of New England. There's not one hole where you can see the other hole. I mean, every hole is completely individual. You don't really see another hole from any hole, which I love that. And I got to play down there last week and enjoyed every second of it. Um, so thank you, Dave. Thank you, Rick, for the hospitality. Um, beautiful place, man. Love to love it. And if you guys can stay at the hotel there or if uh, you get a chance to play that course, do it. Highly recommend it. Um, it was a fun day. It was really good. So, um, Also, since it's all me, one of my best buddies back east and fellow national trainer Todd Bardanero um, has got a new blog out, and it's been seen on Forbes, Daily News, NBC, ESPN, he is an elite New York City golf instructor, has been for over 20 years, and as I mentioned, again, he's the first T uh, national trainer, has this brand new blog out, and it's uh, toddbordenero.com slash, I think that's a backslash blog. I don't know, is that a forward slash or backslash, Mike, which is the one that tilts to the, the right? The top would be further back if it's backslash. The top of the slash would be... <laughs> what is that puppy? Like it's right? kicking back. This one's, like to, like this one's like leaning forward, so it's a forward slash. <laughs> And in Bordenero, it's Todd, T-O-D-D, B-O-R-D-O-N-A-R-O, Bordenero.com forward slash blog. Um, it's something he's been working on forever, and, and it's really cool. It's called Fit for Golf, Set for Life. It's a complete package of not only golf instruction and physical health, but nutrition. Um, he's, I know how hard he's been working on this to get it launched, and it's doing great. So, Todd, congratulations to you. Can't wait to get Fit for Life, or Set for Life anyways. Fit for a little while, Set for, for Life, but... Good job, Ty. Congratulations Ty. to you. Ty. Ty. Who's Ty? Ty. From, well, uh, I think yeah, that, Ty West. That, might be, that might be Ty. No, Ty it looks Kenisha. more like Italian. Well, that's really cool. Todd's a great guy. Yeah, he is. He's a smart dude. 
So I told him I'd give him a plug. I might just have to, since it's all me today, I might have to give him five plugs during the day. But uh, oh, that's okay. So, you can do all you can do all those plugs. But, yeah, uh, I'll do them every time I say I wrote plug. There you go. Well, NFL football started on Thursday, and uh, I know you you were excited, Bill, because you made your picks. Yeah, that was great fun. I'm glad I jumped on that. He <laughs> called me, missed this. Missed the Thursday game, but I think it didn't really matter because in our group of uh, 25, only seven of them picked the right team. But, I would have picked uh, the right team. Could you edit that for me? I could try. Honesty system, you know, the, the bro. I'll try. I'll have to put the votes out to the other 24 and see what everybody else says about that. I can't believe it. Aren't the, the, the Eagles the world's champions? They are. When no one picked them? It just shows you how media... Excuse it. I would have, because I'm blind, I'd have picked them just because of that. I don't know anything about nobody media. Nobody picked Philadelphia. No, I shouldn't say nobody. The like media, four out of your 20 or something. The media in general just didn't think Philadelphia was going to was gonna pull it off with Nick Foles as the backup cornerback. But it got me thinking, and I was looking into it, and they, they project right now that there's $93 billion a year bet on the NFL illegally. 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 Which I'm not really Does sure. Does that count? You and me having a dollar bet? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not really sure. <laughs> that what's, adds up, you know. I'm not really sure what's legal and and illegal. Well, anymore. how would they prove what each individual has a bet? I can't prove that. Like yeah, I don't I. know either. It's kind of got, <laughs> it's gotten be some very record gray. Of something. I don't know. Could be these pools. I mean, those pools. Well, that's are, what I think. Yeah, they're, those, and they're including college in that too. Yeah, those you know, are talking pools just as much as the NFL. Because your pool is out there. I mean, but on your private side, it doesn't say what. But ours is free. Does it? <laughs> awesome! I'll rip up this check. That's a good deal. <laughs> we play for but, those. We play for swing chips. Do most pools? <laughs> Who snorted? I, do do uh? Yeah. Do most pools advertise their cost? Um, uh, you know, it's on the, funny. even on the private side, do you? No, you don't. Pro, you don't advertise it. There's there's stipulations, you know, like the like golf clubs that you've been at. You know how they do the the golf pools, yeah, and they do the football pools, and then sometimes and they the pro- snort pool, yeah, <laughs> and they promote. I'm them. sorry, you know, they'll promote them and say, "Hey, get in! It's a it's a hundred dollars square." As yeah. long as that business, all that money gets paid back out, and there's a charity involved, then it's legal. <laughs> but if there's someone's taking, an official charity or someone's just, uh, yeah, someone's taking a cut. So or it's say not, you, even if you had a, a patron at a golf course that just walks into the bar and goes, hey, Super Bowl, got $100 squares, you know, and there's whatever, there's a 100 of them or whatever it is. Ten grand. And then all of a sudden the payouts come out. And they only pay out eight he's grand. paying out, yeah, eight grand. Then 2000 goes to the house. That's not good. That individual will be in trouble, and so will the, so could the. But that would never happen. Establishment. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that would never happen. That would never happen. Never happen. No. no, people are on. really. Mine's a hundred percent free, and I pay out a hundred percent of it. It goes back out. That's awesome. It goes back out. So you give out a hundred percent of nothing. Yeah, yeah but it's it all, all works. It's all, it's all love. He might pay back three times as actually, much. Yeah. So yeah, actually, I, uh, it, it's fun. So you're really paying out a lot of entertainment and, yeah. and frustration. Yeah. I do it out of so love. So thank you, yeah. man. You know, keep. Can I tip you yeah. for doing that? I appreciate no, I, I all the work you I do. I would like to pay, I would like to tip you something. Well, no. 15%. No. 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 <laughs> 15 percent right. enough. You heard it here. No tip, no fee. I have a life no, I don't like it. He do does it for the love of doing it. Yeah. Mm. I like I like Are you in his pool? No, but I brought uh-huh. him some gluten-free brownies. Wow. To kind of pay him back. No, but I got him some Gluten-free brownies. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's interesting. I think that's... Wow. That's paid. worth 15%. Are you in his pool? I am not. But you bought, bought him brownies. I've been in his pool before, but not this year. Do you want any money? <laughs> it's free. It's free, Bill. <laughs> I, I don't know why you can't get that. Oh, I get it. I've been in the pool every year. Okay, good. Then you know it's free, and you know then you have to bake brownies. I never know? gave him brownies. Bummer. How you get the real action? Billy, <laughs> Billy won a, a half dozen gloves. I did one year oh, in the yeah. pool, and I want to thank yeah. you for that, yeah. Mike. I'm still using those gloves. So I take stuff that's that, awesome. that's donated to me or stuff. Yeah. Like we, 
They were the wrong size and the wrong hand, but it, I know it meant but, something. But it's, it's the thought. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Counts. I know it meant something. I have one in a frame on my office. Did you try so taking you. Uh, scissors and cutting the fingertips off? No, they recommended that would work. that. I could it, donate my shaft, and you could give those out, too. That would, I see. I mean, you're winning something. Yeah, you win something. I should get in the pool. Yeah, do you, it Dave? quick. Everybody out of the pool. Are you in the pool? <laughs> no. It's free. Nobody invited me. You could still get in. <laughs> I mean, right now, the odds. The Actually, odds are, Michael did invite me. The odds, yeah. the odds are pretty even right now. There's only seven out of 25 that actually picked the right game or the right team. So it's like you're still starting fresh. So how many games? <laughs> it's all the games. All the games? It's all through ESPN. Pigs can pick them. Do I, can I get it out like on Tuesday? Uh, you could pick it now for this, for tomorrow. Well, I mean like next Tuesday for tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I'll it's do almost, well. I'm sure you, <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> but you know, those pools, like when I, I think about Billy, when we were back at Avila and we had the big pools that we put up on the, in the, in the golf shop on the big ping sheets and all that stuff. That was just a cool thing, man. We had, everybody was, everybody was involved in Get it. Involved. And, Every day somebody came in, you know, customers, us, everybody's like looking around, going, what's going on, talking about the tournaments, yeah. talking about it. It's just, it's just got a cool vibe to it. I know with fantasy golf, I, I pay more attention to what's going on and who picked what team and everything than I would if I wasn't playing. I think it keeps you more, I definitely think it keeps you more, well, not everybody, but it keeps you more engaged for yeah. a lot of people. Unless you, you know. forget to pick your team. Well, like that's I did too. this week. Well, you get ownership of something yeah. and gets more interesting. You're right. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. So anyway, well, I'm glad you got in, Bill. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> did you make the rest of your picks? <laughs> no, I'll make them Tuesday. Make them Tuesday? All right. Okay, guys, we're going to take our first break. It's Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy, brought to you by TaylorMade Golf. Check out the latest M3, M4 drivers. At TaylorMadeGolf.com today. We'll be right back. Everybody stay with us on the Golf Talk Radio Network. Hi. 